is May Falcon. I'm a sophomore at Ogallala High School. And this is my poem, Promises. Before high school, everything with you was simple. There were no boys, no real drama, and you were still my best friend. Before high school, the only thing we fought about was whose house we were spending the night at. Bike rides and Barbie dolls were our reality. Occasionally, though, we would end up in the back of my mom's car that reeked of vodka. There we sat, crossing our fingers, holding hands, praying that we would make it home alive. We were too young to know that this wasn't normal, too young to know that it wasn't a skunk that we smelled in your parents' garage, and we didn't know why they were always in there. But what we did know is that we didn't want to end up like them. We spit into our hands and promised we, that we would never let a cigarette graze our lips and infect our precious lungs with clouds of smoke that give us the buzz and take away the stress. Never let the alcohol flood down our throats like a river, a river where the current is so strong it drags you under and fills up your throat until only drunken words spill out of your mouth. You promised me we would be better than that, but promises are often broken. Fast forward to high school, stress and hormones were our reality. You didn't know how to deal with me anymore, let alone did I. Gallons upon gallons of bottled teenage feelings spilled at every chance they got. I wondered why we ever grew apart, but I quickly realized after you stopped inviting me places because I was always busy, but really you didn't want to have to face the embarrassment of being with me in public. Every time I mentioned it to you, you would change the subject and talk about some new party you went to. The next time I was with you, a rumor started that I was just like you. And my brother came to me saying, everybody sees how dumb you are. You're screwing up your life just like her. You're a disgrace to the family. The words from his mouth shattered me, and I realized that what you needed wasn't me anymore. You said you'd never leave me, you promise, but promises are often broken. Your new best friend had a car and access to weekends where you never woke up sober. And hey, who needs money when you can just steal it, right? The next weekend, you went out again and came back with an MIP. Diversion and court dates seemed to be your new reality. I told myself that seven years of friendship is too precious to just throw away, but I found myself wanting to take out the trash. You promised me that we would be best friends forever, but promises are often broken. And now, here we are. The long conversations we had became deafening silence, never being broken. The laughs we once shared turned into cigarette butts thrown out the window of your car. The bike rides we took were replaced with empty red solo cups at a stranger's house. And the worst of it all is that you were replaced with a cross on the side of the road. Thank you.